Welcome to the Custom Home Plan series, and this is the Brenda. Now, this, the key characteristics for this home plan are one buyer with multiple end users. You can't um, use personal email, so that's one of the specifications that Brenda had was you need company level emails that can easily be transferred or changed. Uh, she wanted to sell blocks of users and also a single user and ideally see products on assessments and clear out progress on new starts. So the additional product that goes into more information on this is License to Thrive, which is in the PBK member library and that has information related to licensing and bulk purchasing and when you are selling your content or providing access to your content on a much larger scale. So let's get started. We're going to walk you through each of the parts. So in this, we have our order that we build in. So first off, you're going to build your thank you page. And we're going to go into Kajabi and take a look at that. We're over here. Nope, we're over here. This one. Okay, here's the test site. So first off, I have built all of it. And all I have to do is look for the Brenda and I need the Brenda thank you page. This is the page that will be displayed after offer checkout. So on the thank you page you are confirming the purchase that the buyer has made. Again the end user is not paying for this, it is the buyer, and you can lay this page out any way you want. Now, with Kajabi, there are so many different ways to provide access to the content to the end user that I've just put a few ideas here that you would map out the way that you want it to do, ask questions so that it works the way that you anticipate it working. But again, multiple ways to give the access to the end user. So one of the ways is if you are receiving the names of the end users from the buyer, then tell them how to send you an Excel spreadsheet with the information so that you can upload using the bulk upload feature into Kajabi's people tab and grant the end user a license. So have a way for them to click, get the instructions, provide the information to you, however you're setting it up. Another way is if you are providing the link to the end user offer that the buyer is then providing to the end user so that you have an end user offer and the buyer is going to send out that link to the company, to the team, whatever it might be, send them instructions on how to access that end user license. And what does your buyer need to know to help him or her have the ideal experience with you? They have purchased, now what? So that is your buyer thank you page. That is the first thing that you build right here. Next, you have the product. Now this is the product that the end user has access to. The buyer does not need to have access to the product. They can, you may totally give them access to it, but Ideally, it is the end user that they are making the purchase on behalf of. So you would go into Kajabi. You would create your product, whatever that is going to look like. It may be a series of products where the offer is providing access to multiple products, or it may just be one level product. That is totally you know because you're you've designed this program second or sorry third you need to write your email sequences so you have a buyer and an end user which means you can have an email sequence for your buyer and an email sequence for your end user if you do make sure that you keep them separate and that you name them accordingly all of these sections also inside training wheels, you can find your checklists. Now, the automations. You want to draw out your automation before you start building them. So, white piece of paper and a pen, 
what automations do you want to have happen? I'm going to show you two basic ones and you feel free, you can add more as needed. Now for the buyer, you will have a buyer offer that is paid. You'll have an end user offer that is free. The reason that it's free is that the buyer has purchased it. So offer one is for the buyer, no product attached. Offer two is for the end user. It would have the product attached. Then you're going to build the sales page for the buyer. So this Again, depending on what your program looks like, how you have set it up, that will depend on what this sales page looks like. This could have a lot of information, it could have limited information, and a request to contact you for more. It, it is going to be unique to your business, just like your fingerprint is to you as a person. Here is one that I have mocked up just to provide some ideas for you. So this is, you're selling multiple copies. So you're doing bulk purchases, you're doing licensing, you're doing something where you, again, you have one buyer with multiple end users. So lay out your page the way that it works for you. You will see I have a stay in the loop. So for people that are just interested versus ready to buy, you can use the accordion feature to answer any of the questions that relate to your offering for this single buyer with multiple end users. So that is your sales page. And again, this uh, call to action opens up the two-step opt-in pop-up, which is the form and I'll show, we'll, we're still working our way down this page. You'll see where that comes into play. It's right here. So creating a form and then having a way for people to opt in if they're interested. Now you could combine this with the free product strategy if that is part of your North Pole to New York City journey. Absolutely, create a free product that these large purchasers, I call it the big fish, little fish experience. If you haven't yet gone through the free licensing workshop or License to Thrive, that will make more sense, but it is very smart. It is selling one copy at a much higher price point to multiple end users. It has lots of um, stability, it has scalability and it is a really solid um, aspect to build into your business model. Now here, I do have a note that if you'd like a custom thank you page, so if they're filling out this form and you would like a custom landing page displayed, then you need to build a second thank you page. You will have already built this one. All you have to do is clone it and change the copy might take you 20 to 30 minutes. Very easy to do and a great use of your time. The final piece is your link list. Inside the product that you are providing to the end user, what links do they need? Do they need a link to contact you? Do they need a link to a company calendar? Do they need a link to a check-in form? Whatever it might be, you can create that with the link list. Now, we're gonna move on to page two. These are the two automations I would set up if you need them. The first is the buyer offer for that is paid. The automation you would set up is when the offer is purchased, then subscribe to the buyer email sequence. This email sequence could be one email that says, yes, your purchase is confirmed. We will be in touch shortly. It could be a series, again, depending on the nature of your product with this buyer, what do they need to know and when do they need to know it? The second automation is the end user. The automation you would set up is when the offer is purchased, then subscribe to the end user email sequence. Again, what do they need to know? When do they need to know it? And you can set that up. Now, when it comes to setting up the buyer and end user accounts, 
I really want you to understand that, and you can see this on the pink post-it note, with Kajabi, there are a variety of ways to set this up. No one way is correct. The correct way is after talking to your buyer, knowing the quantity of their end users, knowing the turnover of their end users, knowing the bulk purchase or licensing arrangement that you have negotiated, you can use the various tools in Kajabi to accomplish exactly what you need. It's very flexible in that regard. You and there it isn't one size fits all. I have been in licensing since 2003. Um, obviously not all of that in <laughs> Kajabi for sure. And, uh, but I know that licensing deals, there's always a tweak. Bulk purchase, there's usually an adjustment. Somebody wants something a little bit different, which is why all of these fall into the custom home plan arena. But here is one way, and this is just addressing the email login function, is does your buyer use Google email? The cool thing with Google email, and I do not know if this applies to other email providers, is that you can set up email addresses with the a consistent name, put a plus sign in, add in user one, user two, user three, and then do the at your custom domain, and Google will send all those emails to a single inbox, the buyer name, at company.com, and allows it to have a unique identifier. So it'll register it as separate accounts. Now, if your client or the person doesn't have a Google email, then it would be really easy to ask them, hey, can we set up a Google email that you could use for these bulk purchases for this licensing agreement? If they say yes, your life is super easy and you set up the Google email addresses. If they say, nope, we don't want to use that at all, it's not going to work, then you can set up company accounts. So you can have user1, user2, user3 at company.com, but use it in combination with a tool like lastpass.com because then you can revoke the passwords. So if you have a, whatever your turnover rate, or your, sorry, the buyer's turnover rate is, for employees, for whoever they're giving this access to, you want to make sure that when it comes time to pull back that access, there's an easy way to do so. The best way to do that is to use something like a LastPass. Um, again, you may run into issues depending on what the security protocol is for your purchaser. So those, again, are great questions to ask as you are setting all of this up. At the end, you will just, the end users will get granted access to the product. Again, variety of ways that you can accomplish this. Uh, if you have gone through License to Thrive, you are more than welcome to ask me any questions in there. If you are in the PBK member library, you of course can ask me anything at any time. And that is the Brenda. So that is part of the Custom Home Plan series. When you have, we'll go back over here, one buyer with multiple end users, you want to be able to control the email, the passwords, you wanna sell in blocks of users and single users, and it can totally be done. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you on the next home plan. Bye-bye.